Norton Campbell initially came across as someone driven solely by avarice, willing to go to any length for financial gain. That was my impression until the release of the new trailer for Ashes of Memory, Chapter 2. This live-action trailer presented a different side of Norton's character, revealing a man grappling with the challenges of his life and a difficult childhood. To be honest, this trailer altered my perspective on Norton Campbell. So what unfolds in it? Let's delve into the details. Before we dive into the trailer's analysis, let's take a moment to rewatch it. Hey, old man. Need a map. Let's do this together. No.
The trailer commences by introducing Alice, who opens a notebook that might contain information related to Norton, similar to what she discovered about Emma Woods in Ashes of Memory, Chapter 1. The scene transitions to another location, possibly England or Scotland, judging from the architectural style and Victorian-era attire of the people. Next, we see a young boy in distress, screaming with flames engulfing him, a clear sign that he has witnessed something truly horrifying. Norton's painful memories from his past are suggested here. His reverie is broken when a nurse calls his name, snapping him back to reality. Norton is shown visiting an elderly man in a hospice, identified as Benny, a close friend of Norton's late father who succumbed to black lung when Norton was just a child. Norton's consistent visits to Benny and his genuine care for the old man may suggest that Norton views Benny as a father figure, having lost his own father at a young age. We witness Norton laboring in a mine alongside others before reading a particular letter that seems to hold significant importance in his life. This letter appears to have a profound impact on his future. Inside the mine, Norton eyes a couple from a higher social stratum with a certain disdain, revealing his envious feelings towards the high class. This resentment ties into Norton's deep-seated animosity towards the wealthy. The trailer then shows Norton's return to the hospice, where he engages in a discussion with Benny. It is during this conversation that Benny might disclose the existence of 13 locations containing gold. Benny's laughter might signify his joy, that finally someone is willing to search for the gold alongside him. Norton, shown reading the letter again while coughing, likely sees his health deteriorate due to the taxing mine work. At this point, his traumatic memories resurface, offering a glimpse into his troubled past, where his parents, it seems, were embroiled in a bitter argument, possibly over financial matters. During the 19th century, miners earned meager wages and often remained trapped in poverty. Norton is then seen muttering about the gold. It's apparent that his past trauma drives him to desperation, motivating him to escape poverty and avoid a repetition of his childhood struggles. He toils diligently in the hope of discovering gold in the mine, but all he uncovers are worthless pyrites. With time, his mental health began to deteriorate. Later, a green light emanates from his back. While the exact meaning of this green light remains unclear, it may symbolize Norton's descent into greed and envy, particularly with regard to wealth, as green often symbolizes these traits. Norton subsequently requests a map from Benny and takes it, despite Benny's plea for him to search for the gold together. The map highlights the 13 locations Benny had knowledge of. As per Norton's lore, 12 of these 13 locations proved to be devoid of gold. We then see news articles emerge concerning the mine. Norton, along with his colleagues, enters the mine. In this scene, it's uncertain whether he collaborates with his colleagues in an attempt to locate the gold, only to later betray them, or if they are working together as usual. 
His co-workers are seen calling out his name as Norton attempts to flee. It's possible they've uncovered his deceit. Regardless, Norton races towards a location laden with dynamite, igniting it. He emerges from the explosion, transformed into a fool's gold, symbolizing his metamorphosis into a money-driven monster within his own mind. Norton's transformation from a hard-working individual into someone consumed by greed is undeniably sad. Initially perceived as a callous individual responsible for the mine's explosion and the deaths of his co-workers, the revelation of his tragic past evokes sympathy. He endured considerable suffering in his life and attributed his poverty to his hardships, leading him to strive diligently to escape that condition. His relentless efforts ultimately resulted in a deteriorating state of mind. It's a truly unfortunate tale. Nevertheless, it's important to remember that this live-action trailer is a creative representation designed for artistic purposes and should not be considered canon, since I personally think that his canon lore is from his Essences story. So what are your thoughts? Do you perceive Norton as wholly evil or as someone in need of assistance to regain a clear state of mind? Please share your perspective. Thank you for watching.